<clears throat> is going to go ahead and do one more shove. Okay. Mm. That's less embarrassing. So that's against Great uh, great Paw. So please make a strength athletics check and tie or beat a 15. Oh, do, 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 do. All right. So it shoves you back uh, five feet. Um, and you are pushed back off of the bridge. No. So, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, that is. I do I still have advantage. I just sucked with yeah. that. <laughs> so I was you, like, wait, no. So the Aram Elemental surges forward and almost uh, engulfs Great Paw, and the very force of this wind just buffets Great Paw. And you see time slows for everyone, you in particular, Great Paw, as you feel your feet leave the stone and you're pushed back above nothing but swirling mists and you begin to plummet. Faster and faster you fall through the swirling mists. You look up and you see the bridge receding from you at ever faster rate. And then you look down and all of you see him disappear into the mists. Great Paul, you look down and you see another bridge with figures standing on it, rushing up at you at high speeds. And it's only when you get right about level to it that you realize it's, it's your friends on this bridge. All of you are looking down for a moment, and then you hear whoosh, and Great Paw comes uh, ripping past you at high speed from above. And then, a few seconds later, oh, oh, you are now flying past the bridge over and over again in a loop. So you're in constant, like, eternal fall past this bridge. You are now falling at rather high speeds. Uh, we can um, come back to you. You're falling, if you want to know, that I actually sorted the math out because that's the kind of person I am. About 500 feet around, you're falling. Huh? Fast. All right, so that's uh, your turn, actually. The air elemental, after shoving you successfully off of the bridge, uh, turns and just kind of, like, starts floating away because nobody's within uh, melee range of it. Uh, Great Paw, what would you like to do? You are now plummeting past this bridge. It's, but let's say you're on the second pass now, and it's your turn. I would like to try and land on the bridge with a superhero roll. Okay, you're falling 500 feet around, uh, and you, you would like to land on the bridge. It's a terrible idea. You are raging. I know, but I... Ooh. Okay, so go ahead and make a, an athletic... But I do always land on my feet. <laughs> that's a tabaxi Wait, that's show. Cat burglar. Oh, right. Uh, so go ahead and make an athletics check to try to uh, hit the bridge. Because you're right next to it. So this is more like just kind of like throwing yourself to the side a little bit to see if you can't hit that bridge. Um, it's not actually that hard. Let's say a DC 12 to get yourself... Oh, my... <laughs> All righty then. You are raging. I'm through the bridge. <laughs> Would you like to roll the damage or shall I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Take the power into your own hands. How much? It's, 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 it's I mean, if 10d10 is the max. 10d6. Ten, oh, it was oh wait, that's what I meant. 10d6 is the max. Okay. <sighs> so I'm going to, uh, so in this case, the air is heavy and moist and things are not as you would expect oh that's not so you so take 10d6 but you're raging so you take half of that damage that's uh, not however so um yeah i guess you took damage so you keep raging for another round even though you didn't yeah. take it from an attack you took it from a from falling but i guess that counts so you all see great paw fly pot bass twice but on the third time he kind of Thro hip throws himself to the side and just slams into the stone. The stone is unaffected. It doesn't destroy the bridge. or The bridge doesn't even budge. But Great Paw is now prone, kind of like when you, you know, looks a little bit like dropping a very ripe tomato on the kitchen floor. Ah, 